pagi ni aku buat sesuatu yang bodoh Aku try shoot burst pakai A7R Mark IV Lepas tu aku nak delete gambar tu Then terdelete semua gambar kat Ipoh <laughs> Assalamualaikum As you can see from the title Today video is about my true experience It's a stupid mistake that I did So what happened is that Early in the morning after I woke up Then take a pee And then all those uh, morning business I open up my Facebook And browse my Facebook Then there's one guy um, In a A7R Mark IV group Saying that about continuous shooting Of the A7R Mark IV So what I did I take my AC1 Arma 4, then I do continuous shooting with it. I keep shooting, keep shooting raw and JPEG, everything after hundreds of hundreds of files. So what I did after that, I delete the files because it was so many files. So I want to delete it. Then what happens is that it also delete all those clips, all those photos, all the videos that I did yesterday with Rosli. Oh my God, I was so panicked at that times. So what I did, uh, I text Rosli and tell about it. So here's my conversation with Rosli. Pagi ni aku buat sesuatu yang bodoh. Aku try shoot burst pakai A7R Mark IV. Lepas tu aku nak delete gambar tu. Then terdelete semua gambar kat Ipo. <laughs> that is basically what I text Rosli. <laughs> then I said, I try to recover. And then he said, video memang tak dapat recover. Alright? So again, it makes me even more sad because the, all the footage is I did it before of course I cannot redo again in KL so basically there's two different places and it puts not in KL so I need to travel to Ipoh if I want to redo again but obviously I'm not going to redo again then I text Rosli again I said video semalam pun hilang aku tak import lagi <laughs> four times <laughs> so that is what happens to me I believe that the same thing happened to you guys also and uh, that is why today I will I want to share the videos how I recover all those files using a software that is very very useful. This is not a paid uh, video from this software. It is something that I recover myself. Okay, so let's go. guys so, so if you're still watching this video it means that it really happens to you okay welcome to the club the a7 arma 4 this is not the the ipo footage but basically this is some of the photos and video that i did uh shooting in the chongka where i shoot birds as you can see here all right so this is all the footage that i did in sungai chongka all right there's a video there's a photos okay there are so many things here and also there's uh of videos over there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete some of the files and then i will try to recover it why don't i just delete uh, all my photos on the same date so exactly what happened so let me show you here now all right so here so playback so i'm gonna press delete all right delete all right and and then i press menu then i press is that delete yeah, delete all image with this date okay all right so that is basically what happens uh when i accidentally um doing the silly mistakes okay so now i will try to recover all the files okay what we should do now i'm not using any sd card reader i just use the camera itself so what i did I use the Type-C card here, Type-C. Uh, sorry, I use the Type-C cable. Then I just mount it here, All right? Then turn on the cameras. Let the laptop detect the the camera first. The software is called Recover It. Recover it. Okay. So these are the software that I'm using. So as normal. Okay, now you can see my my 
my card where the one that I accidentally delete. So press start. So now what happens is that the software will scan all the files inside my SD card. So remember I delete all the videos. I also delete uh, all the files in the same dates. Right? So it will mention here, it's now mentioned about 55, 54, 49, 48, 46 seconds. So it will scan the whole cut. Okay, 50, 41, 40, okay. All right, so it takes a bit of time lah, eh? bukan sekejap, lama sikit. Okay, the scan has completed and uh, all the files are re uh, already scanned. Okay, I just press okay, then this is, they have what they call it lost location. This is basically all the files that already lost. So, let's have a look. The lost locations. Okay, so this is all the files that I already deleted. And this is the file, the video that I already deleted. So, see how amazing it is. So, let's recover the video. Let's recover the video first, including the metadata. metadata. Okay, so recover this one. And we show, it will tell you where to recover all the files. So I will create one file. So we'll make it into users here, shackle packer. Put it here lah, in the folder. And then I recover, recover two. Okay, create and save. Okay, now the file are being recovered using the software by recover it. Then I also will recover some photos. Okay. Alright, so finish recover on the videos. Alright, now recover on the photos. All the photos that I accidentally deleted, including all the raw file. So let's recover it. Go to the same folder. Okay, so let's look all the files. So I put it uh, here, then uh, on my users, shape Rebecca, and cover two. So let's see the video file first. Lost location, click. Let's try playback. Amazing. Amazing. This is the video file. Okay, now let's look at the photos file that I recovered just now. Lost location. Okay, this is all the file that I recovered. So let's see one of the files. Boom. Got it. That is the files. This one. Yeah. Whew. That is basically happened to me. I'm so happy, relieved when I can recover all the files that I already lost, I already deleted. Alright, so the next question here is that how to recover your image, your videos, if you accidentally format your card inside the cameras? The truth is nothing you can do about it. Based on my research, based on my finding after trying few software, including the Sony software, I cannot recover formatted card. If you guys experienced this before, if you're able to recover your file again after you format the card, let me know. Please comment below, yeah? So that maybe I will share your thought, your ideas in my next video. For information, me myself also have the same situation, but I did not format the card. Where, you know, something wrong with the card. So the camera will tell you uh, to format the card. I will say no. So what I did, I take out the card, then I will use a different card to continue my shootings. I will not use the same card because I know that card has a problem already. So I'll make sure that I recover, I import all the file in that card. And after I format the card, then I will use back the card for my other usage. And one more thing, one tip from me. If you notice that on your camera, they have a red light indicating that the camera now writing the information to your card. Do not take out your card at that time. It will damage your cards. Make sure that before you take out your card, there's no red light and make sure everything is 
properly right to the cut only then you take out i think that is all from me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you will not miss any of my video in the futures i see you again in my next video assalamualaikum and bye bye